Hi, I'm Marcia with Nature's Friends and I'm going to show you how Harold and I steam our mussels. These are live guys and you want to go through them and make sure that if you have any that are opened or damaged, you do not want to use them. See this one? It's busted. Throw him in the compost. He is not what you want to use. Harold has eaten them before one time years ago when he got sick, so we don't want, we want to make sure we cook them right. So we're going to rinse them really well, got them in a colander here, and they're really not very dirty at all. You just want to rinse them and look them over. Okay, I've got another busted one. Don't want him. That's all you want to do is check them out. And when you bring them home from the grocery store, you know, right now it's winter here and it's cold and you don't need to keep them on ice because they're, I mean, it's like 10, 20 degrees outside. But in the summer, if you buy them, make sure you keep them on ice. So what we're doing, we've got our mussels ready. So now I'm going to tell you what we use to cook them in. I have one beer, whatever your choice, doesn't matter. I have a half a stick of butter. I have one teaspoon of minced garlic. Three tablespoons of shallots. And you talking about some flavor. These are so delicious. These, some people refer to them as scallions. Some people refer to them as spring onions. This is three-fourths of a cup, finely chopped have a teaspoon of salt and the juice from a fresh lemon, I mean a half of a fresh lemon. That's all you need. So I'm going to get this on the stove and bring it to a boil. So while I'm getting this to a boil, I'm going to my crusty bread because you really want to serve it with your crusty bread. This could be, make a great appetizer, or you could have it as a meal with a nice salad. So we're going to put our, we put a little EVO, extra virgin olive oil on this. So we're going to put this in our toaster oven. And let that be getting ready. But this is absolutely delicious, guys, and you are going to love it. So until our, while our water's boiling, We'll be right back in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Okay, our ingredients have come to a boil. So now I'm getting ready to add my mussels. Okay. You just don't need to cook very long. Probably just a couple of minutes. When they start opening, they will be ready to take out. So look you at want, that. You, you want to cover them. Okay, we're going to cover these, and when they return to a boil and start opening, I'll show you what they look like. It's only going to take a couple of minutes. Thank you. Okay, guys, it's been three minutes. These have been boiling, and they have opened up, so they are ready to come out of here. Okay. Wow, I wish you could smell them. They smell amazing. You know what? I think I'm just going to plate them. If you have some guests over, they will absolutely love this as an appetizer or, like I said, as a main meal. And you've got the flavor of your scallions and your garlic in there. And I'm going to put a little broth in here. All the goodies. Mmm. Smells amazing. Okay, so garnish with a little lemon. And look at this great crusty bread. Oh my goodness. So we're going to open up one of these. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, they are so good. You can dip your bread in there. You've got your butter, your lemon absolutely delicious this is a dish that you wouldn't mind serving to anyone so give it a try 
And if you have any questions, excuse me for chewing with my mouth and talking with my mouth full. Email us at naturesfriends at embarkmail.com. Thank you for watching. Take care.